Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to animate an effect. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. Okay, one of the things that I often do is animate an effect. So let me show you how I might do that on this first project. So let's uh, let's grab the green screen clip and just move it to the end of this first one. Whatever clip you have down there. Um, that way it gives us a little bit of space to, to have the effect come in and then I want it right where the, the person is. Um, in fact, you know what would be kind of fun is, um, let me zoom in on this a little. Yeah, let's let's animate the character. That would be fun. All right, so uh, let's select the green screen shot. Let's go to our effect controls, and um, I'm just gonna collapse Ultra Key because I'm I'm really done with that. I think the key turned out really great. Um, if you cut off a little too much, if there's nothing, no head before she starts talking here between the the beginning and when she starts talking, you can always stretch that out. What I thought it might be kind of fun is to have her fly in from the from the bottom so I'm gonna come in just a little bit come here to motion and set a position keyframe by clicking on that little stopwatch let's just go back and we'll scrub her off with remember it's this number on the right hand side here so I'm gonna hold shift down so I can go really fast okay boink <laughs> oh that's gonna be fun all right boink now um just for your you can move or resize you know using these controls your green screen anywhere you want okay so here's the actual tutorial i wanted to apply an effect to this one and we're going to use those key, same keyframe type of ideas so that wasn't a bad bad little intro and we want it to kind of land right here that's where we want to, the same spot where she comes in is where we'll want the effect to really come in full so let's go to our effects panel and i like animating a blur so let's type in blur and there's a couple of fast blurs there if you scroll down there's a whole bunch more in the whole blur section i like this camera blur so i'm going to drag and drop camera blur on intro so make sure you're putting this on intro and you can see boom it, it really has this cool full effect here of blurring out that background. So that's exactly where I want the, 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 this effect. You have, it, and I just scrubbed down here in my effect controls to see there it is, the camera blur. And right now it's at 25. You can make it worse or you can make it less. So uh, 25 looked fine to me. And that's where I want it to be. So I'm going to hit the stopwatch and it's going to be at 25 right there. And I want to have the car full, you know, sharpness out here. So I'm going to go to the beginning of where the green screen comes in and let's just change this to zero. So let's see what that would look like. So it's, it's nice and sharp, comes in, blurs out as she comes up. Oh my gosh, I love that. So you can um, you can animate effects just like you do with animating a person or a title. And since we're here, we should probably do a little bit of easing. So I'm going to right click on that, go to ease out, right click on this one, ease in. Let's come back to her. So ease out. Right click, ease in, and let's watch that again. So, swink. Oh man, that's cool. All right, that's it. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development, and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.